<laughs> oh my fucking god! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you? Today we'll be looking at the channel Shadow Man. Make sure you go over to the channel, subscribe, and do the day. This one is called Five Scary Ghost Videos That Will Disturb You. Disturb you, mate. This is gonna disturb us. Okay? Not like the, uh, disturb, you know. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> Without further ado, Dudley Day, let's do this. Shh. Shadow Man. Five scary ghost videos that will disturb you. Mystery Shopper. In the centre of Barnsley, a town in the UK, lies a small store named the Barnsley Antiques Centre. As you can imagine, they sell, well, antiques. The business, however, has as many as 16 CCTV cameras installed around the store, which ultimately have yielded quite a few unexplainable videos. On okay. their YouTube channel description, they state that they have had a top scientific researcher stay in the shop late at night with lots of specialist recording equipment. Okay. During that time, weird things happened and some were actually caught on the recordings. The researcher is known worldwide but wishes to remain anonymous. Really? The owners themselves, however, have managed to capture some of the weirdest, or should I say, some of the creepiest things on camera. Ooh, mate, let's go! What the fuck? These kids are like, ah, motherfucker, I'm down! Mate! The strange this is intriguing. of antiques, vintage and retro may just be the reason for all of this supposed paranormal activity. Because, like, objects, they can sort of, objects can hold, uh, whether there's a spirit inside the shop doing the things, or I've heard that objects can hold, like, a spirit, right? Inside the store. The short CCTV clips have made their way all across the internet for their bizarre content. From framed pictures, dresses, and even taxidermied animals falling down, to weird unexplainable mist enveloping the store from time to time. Look! Right, who's vaping in the bloody shop, mate? That's a vape shop. That's a vape. It's not a vape shop. It's so cliche, isn't it? With the, with the with the clock go ding ding, mate. Is that? It could be just a vape. Somebody's vaped in there. But normally, vape disappears by now. That is weird. Vape don't linger for that long, mate. You rhyme. What the hell? The Barnsley Antiques Centre has been in operation for over six years now and in that time have captured many creepy things. Things that just can't be explained. That's crazy. Perhaps it's all of the energy from all the different antiques. It probably is. Who knows? The Barnsley Antiques Centre YouTube channel hasn't uploaded a new video in over three years. However, they are still open to this day, and I assume are still capturing the old creepy thing on CCTV camera. If anyone's from around there, mate, please go in there and let me know, like, if anything happened or how creepy it feels. The Shanley. A couple of months ago, I featured a video by Josh from the YouTube channel Exploring with Josh and how he and his friends spent the night in a haunted hotel. The Shanley Hotel, to be exact. The team caught many EVPs and voices that they couldn't explain. However, they didn't capture any so-called apparitions on camera. However, this upcoming video may just show the spirit or a partly formed apparition of a... animal. The hotel is said to be haunted by many different souls, including that of a younger woman named Claire. 
Claire supposedly hung herself or she was killed at the hands of another person in her own room. What? Room 13. It's not quite clear, however, just what happened. It's said by many previous owners though that she indeed still occupies the building in some way or another. Before the Shanley Hotel was owned and operated by the now current owners, it was purchased and run by the late Salvatore Nicosia. He owned the building between 2005 through until he passed away in 2016. In that time, Salvatore discovered it was home to several spirits. Near really? the end of his life, he shared many of his stories, a lot of which included these supposedly real spirits. Here we go, mate. I had a cat. Yeah. For close to 13, 14 years. And when I had lived in the other house, I used to let the cat out at night and the cat would come back during the day. But when we, when I moved into the hotel, the cat refused to go out. And I couldn't get the cat to come into my apartment. For some reason, the cat wouldn't come into that room. And the minute I bring it into the room, she'd take right out the door. So I started feeding her outside in the hallway. And she would roam the building. Then after a while, she started going up to the third floor. And she would come down to the second floor, she would eat, and she'd go back up to the third floor. Then after a couple of months, she refused to come down off the third floor and she would stay in Claire's room. And we picked up an EVP one night of Claire saying that it was her cat. What? Could this white mist-like thing be the partial spirit? That's clearly a cat, right? That was the tail flapping about willy-nilly of Claire's cat, a former occupant of the hotel like Salvatore states here in the video? Or is this merely just a piece of dust or string moving across the hallway and into room 13? No man, that's clearly a cat. You can almost like picture his legs flapping about. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube about this hotel claiming that they show supposedly real paranormal activity. But is this one of them? The Abandoned. Chris the, the from the YouTube ghost. channel Urbex Hill recently cat. uploaded a video of himself exploring the abandoned Computech Empire School located in the Greenville neighborhood of Cleveland, Ohio. As stated by Chris, this elementary slash junior high school was built in 1915, but closed in 2011. The school has since sat abandoned for over 10 years. The school will eventually be converted into an apartment complex. Oh mate, that looks freaky man in there, doesn't it? An old derelict school. Let's Until go. Until then, however, Chris made the effort to explore the school for what it's worth. But what he recorded while he was in there gave all of his viewers the chills. He's on his own as well, he's Rambo in it. What are we looking at, mate? What's going on? Teachers have the knowledge, but you hold the key. Just remember that, kids. Yeah, get rid of that COVID. What? 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 Chris is exploring one of the many hallways with lockers, a lot of which have their doors open. However, just moments later, after looking through another room at the end of the hallway, he turns back around to unknowingly oh, record all the locker doors closed. 
Chris, unaware of this at the time, continues to explore through the abandoned building. Oh shit, mate! Mate, that wasn't a cut. Now, come on. I know you're talking about the bloody mine seed one, right? But that that wasn't a cut. There wasn't any cut in that. And I didn't hear shit all, mate. Near the end of the video, Chris finds the auditorium or school theatre room. However, once again, at the time, he misses... something. While panning across the room, a person or shadow can be seen sitting in a chair in the far distance. However, just moments later, he pans back and it's gone. Oh. It's difficult to see, but this something is there one second it's definitely and then something gone there, next. Mate. Perhaps the school is haunted, or perhaps it's just occupied by a squatter or homeless person. Who knows? Check out the full video on Chris's YouTube channel, Urbex right. Hill. Okay, Urbex Hill. I'm going to have to check his channel out, mate, because I've seen it. I'm seeing this stuff before. It looks pretty damn good. This house ghost. Chris Luna is a researcher of the paranormal phenomenon and a TV reporter from Mexico City. On the 30th of July of this year, Chriselle uploaded a video of herself and her friend Melissa exploring an old house. It's now being used to store food such as grain, corn, and wheat. The two women travel out to the rundown building after hearing a story about the spirit of an elderly woman who is said to roam the property late at night. Workers of the place have said that they've seen the appearance of an old woman who allegedly died in the house a few years back. Uh. It is said that the woman was born, raised, and spent her entire life in this building. If this is in Mexico, mate, you gu guaranteed there's gonna be some freaky deaky shit going on in here, man. Like, the, the, every time I see something from Mexico, it's like crazy stuff going on. Until she passed away a few short years ago. Chris Sal and her friend Melissa are explaining all of this to the camera and how they received permission to explore the place throughout the night. However, it's not too long before the two women unknowingly record something. 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 Que todavía habita en este lugar. Ahorita vamos a ingresar a ahí dentro para que ustedes puedan ver. Pero Holy sí gustaría, fuck off, mate. Pues me gustaría. Did she not see that? La presencia es algo que he estado haciendo últimamente. Pedir la presencia de este ser, de los seres. Chris Al and her friend Melissa have yet to even enter the building when they record what looks like the shadow or silhouette of a person walking back and forward through the barred windows. Unaware of it at the time, Chris Al may have just caught on camera the spirit of the elderly woman roaming one of the rooms. The woman explore the building not long after this, but don't see a thing. The entire building is empty with no one in sight. Oh, was this possibly the spirit of the supposed grandmother who was said to roam the property late at night? Ooh. Could the paranormal researchers have actually captured something supernatural on camera? Or could there simply be a reasonable explanation for this shadow or silhouette? The two a reasonable explanation, mate? I don't know, man. That looks proper, like, proper crazy. Women do come across a couple of creepy things before they leave the property. For that though, you probably should switch over to her channel, Chris Al Luna. A different time. Alright, let's bring it up a level now, come on. Let's see some fucking weird wobbly faces in, in the camera, like really pale wobbly faces like that. You know? I want to see some proper messed up stuff. In the late 1990s, there were many scary TV shows that would keep kids up, such as myself, late at night worrying about uh, so-called ghosts and ghouls. 
shows such as Unsolved Mysteries, The X Files, and the X, Goosebumps. Mate, the X Files. The X Files, mate. One of the best series in the whole wide world. Bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant. I had the game as well. If you've had the game, let me, let me know in the comments because the game was absolutely amazing. Full motion video, great stuff. Just to name a few. However, there was just one more program called The World's Scariest Ghosts Caught on Tape. It aired on the Bravo channel and gave many younger viewers problems getting to sleep. One episode in particular saw the now famous couple Ed and Lorraine Warren, a pair of demonologists, visit a family home in small town Connecticut. The upcoming video you're about to see is just a small snippet from the full length episode and shows Ed and Lorraine Warren attempting to remove any negative or... Now listen guys, this isn't, isn't that the two from The Conjuring? Like the real, the real people? And if that's the case, mate, what you're about to see is going to be so legit. It's going to be freaky. Evil energy from this family's house. Meet professional demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren. Poltergeist can be terrifying. So anybody says that a poltergeist is mischievous, they better take a second look. During their 50 years of hunting ghosts, Ed and Lorraine claim to have encountered hundreds of poltergeists. They've also been the subject of numerous books and yeah. have consulted on several high-profile cases. Yeah, this is definitely them. Including the Amityville Horror. Poltergeist is nothing more than a devil or a demon as far as we're concerned. People say, this guy's going back into the medieval ages. There are no such things as devils or demons. Yes, there are. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. The Warrens feel that some of the most compelling evidence ever recorded has been videotaped by them in this Connecticut home. For months, the family, whose faces are obscured to protect their identity, have been tormented by what they fear is a poltergeist. Here we go, mate. Ed attempts to communicate with the troubled spirit. One knock for yes, two for no. Are you a man? Are you a boy? The mother leans against the kitchen table, her hands in full view as Ed continues asking questions. You want the people in this house to move? One knock for yes, two for no. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Who is it that you don't like the most here? Is it? Is it? Is it their father? Is it their mother? Oh my God! Ooh. Okay. Fuck. I command you to reveal your identity. Next, Ed decides to confront the poltergeist alone. Give me some sign. Is that you moving something? Yeah! The bloody chairs! Give me some sign that you're here. He's doing what the fucking chairs! Was used religious provocation. I have to provoke it into some type of outward manifestation. And that was my point in doing that. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to reveal your identity. Holy fucking moly, mate. Here we go. On the following night, the family reports that the... Hang on, I think that's the door. False alarm, let's get back into it. The poltergeist seems to be more active than ever. Only now, its attention is focused on the family's 10-year-old daughter. What? The little girl is trying to do her homework, but you can see that the chair keeps sliding backwards. And her feet are on the bloody thing. They're not on the floor, mate. You're holding it down, aren't you? It's got that much strength to it. Now, if you watch, you can see the little girl's legs are up on the rungs of the chair. She's not pushing herself up from the floor. The mother is not tipping that chair backwards. No. Nobody is touching that table. The table moves of its own volition. The Warrens quickly arrange for three priests to perform an exorcism in the home, and the disturbance ends. But for how long? Could Man. the poltergeist ever return? We have found that it can be quieted down, but then it'll escalate again. We still keep our fingers crossed because it could, and we hope and pray it don't. 
We hope and pray it don't. Like I said before, this is just a small portion of the full episode. However, this particular part of the show was, back in the day, a lot scarier. But was all of this real? Was the family's house actually haunted? Were Ed and Lorraine Warren really dealing with some type of evil entity inside this house? Were the table and chairs really moving on their own? Was any of this real, or was it all just orchestrated by the producers for TV ratings? Could be, mate. Could be, but I don't know, man. Like these, these lot, these two have dedicated their whole lives to it, and apparently they've got like in the film of The Conjuring, where um, they've got all the old, um, old objects and things like that. You know, um, cupboards and toys and all that sort of stuff. They've actually got that in real life. And these objects are like, um, that it's all haunted. They're all sort of like possessed, these dolls and stuff like that. And they keep the, they keep the door locked, just like the film. Apparently they've got that in real life. Crazy, mate. These older scary TV shows really do feel like a lifetime ago. An entirely different time in a way. Leave your thoughts on this retro type programming below. Make you guys the maximum enjoy, retro, I'll keep please! Featuring it. Shadow person. The following clip is. Oh, let's end on a bang then, should we? End on a bang. Fucking shadow person, let's go. This is a short one. It comes to us from a YouTube user named Carrie E. The upcoming video was their very first and only ever upload. It's already been featured on other more well established scary YouTube channels. However, I just had to include it in this top five. Just over a month ago, they captured something very creepy on their wise motion camera from their bedroom. What? <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh god! Man, I thought that was- I thought that was gonna come out of the fucking screen then, man, with the sound effects and everything. Jesus Christ! What the sh- Just- Mate, what? Okay, we've got to do that again, I'm sorry. It didn't even pick up that motion. What looks like a shadow- I can't- I, my, my, my brain can't cope with that! My brain can't cope with that shit, mate! I can't be dealing with that! What?! Shadow figure can be seen darting across the bedroom at a pace no human can move at. At least, I don't think so. The transparent-like black mass appears to speed up as it moves across the room. And as the original uploader states, the camera doesn't even manage to pick up the motion 100%. Perhaps whatever this thing, ghost, spirit, entity, or whatever it was, could have been moving too quickly. Is this a real ghost or shadow person caught on motion camera, or is it something like bad video compression or some type of glitch? What? Oh my god, mate, that is horrifying. Imagine seeing that on your fucking nest! What's all that about, mate? would be your guess. Another short clip recorded by a motion camera captures the moment something creepy moves across the backyard of someone's house. What? Hey, let me just move this. Tammy Jackson uploaded this video to YouTube back in December of 2019, however. It's only just now making its way around the internet. If we take a closer look, it appears that whatever this weird figure shape thing is, it activates a secondary motion light on the side of the garage. Now- The garage. Mate, how tall is that thing? How tall is it? It's as tall as the bloody building, man. Oh, of course, this light could have been set off by what looks to be an RGB lit pool or fire pit down below. However, this was already turned on beforehand. 
Could this be a ghost of sorts, or merely just a smudge on a camera lens? A viewer of the original video has gone as far as suggesting that they can see a young couple running from a mob of demons in the background. What? But I can't see that. Mate, uh, I don't know what you're fucking smoking, mate, but I, I can't see that shit. Can you? A mob of children running away. Why? Mate, are you looking at a different video or something? Last stop. Last stop, mate. Last bloody stop, let's go. This next clip is a very short. It was recorded from within an underground London train station sometime back in 2014 or 2015. The video allegedly shows a partly formed apparition jumping from a train platform down onto the tracks. Naughty words. Oh shit, I just saw that. What was that? Just it's a fucking naked woman! It's a naked woman jumping down on the bloody thing, mate! Just in case you missed it, here it is again. Yeah! If we slow it down, we can see what appears to be a person or figure jumping from the edge of the platform, if only for a split second. Previous viewers of this video have suggested it's 100% fake. Others think it could be a real spirit of a person who had... I'm not being funny, but if you, if you were faking that, you would make it a little bit clearer, wouldn't you? If it was fake, you'd make it a little bit clearer to say, like, what was this? Not just sort of like a glimpse. But if you pause it, it does look like some sort of naked person jumping off. I don't know whether that's my imagination, like I'm, I'm, my mind's making up, like, the bits that are missing. But that's what it seems like. Committed suicide years ago, somehow stuck in some residual loop. Oh, imagine but that. Who knows? Get off my train! What are your thoughts? Photo of the week? This has been named one of the best ghost photographs ever taken, and it was snapped by Tom Halstead. During a paranormal investigation in an old abandoned house in Missouri, Halstead reported that as he stood in a bedroom on the first floor, he looked around and saw a huge glowing entity moving up the staircase towards him. As the apparition reached the top of the stairs, it started to fade and disappear. This was when Halstead managed to capture the ghost on film you see here. If you or someone you know has taken a creepy video or move. photo and you think it's scary enough to be in a future video, send it to submit.shadowman at gmail.com and you may just see it in an upcoming video. Oh hell, mate. Mate, that shadow on the Nest camera, zoom, that freaks me right out, man. I like, that's like almost, that's like scarred me, that has. That was so damn weird. Tell me what you think about that one. I'm really interested. I want you to tell me what you think about that one. Because that is super crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, mate. All right, if you liked the video, please leave a little like. And if you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? And I love you forever. I'll see you on the next one, mate. Take care. Bye-bye.